Marcus fam, I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, really excited to get back into some King Los. Uh, someone in the comment section said, yo, you got to check out this Back in Blood freestyle. I uh, pulled it up. Uh, it looks like it's about at least a year old. I couldn't find an official video or anything for it. We just got this kind of uh, Lowe's. It looks like he's got a crown on, uh, but there's no video associated with it. So, yo, let's just let it ride and uh, see what he's bringing to the table here. Check it out. Back in blood freestyle. I do this better than this. Ooh, this beat, huh? OD the rap, just put that together, my nigga. Yeah, I let them fill these shells from these four arms if you get in defense. Yeah, I should I wasn't even listening. I do this better than this. I'm the G to OD the rap, just put that together, my nigga. The G to OD to rap. Put that together it's the god right so the god to rap philly shells from these four arms if you get in defense yeah I sure uh, these rappers no one dog what do you say i feel the four uh I, I feel the shells from these four arms uh if you're getting defensive right the arms uh it, it sounds like he's using arms like defense arms uh i believe it's arm is it armin armament armament is like the abbreviated version when you hear people say like get your arms or they're trying to take our arms they're not talking about your arms right they're talking about a, a armament um it's just a it's a weapon it's um uh it, basically it's a weapon <laughs> i let them fill these shells from these four arms if you get in defense yeah i show the road to these rappers no wonder i always made what shells yeah fill these shells from these four arms if you get in defense yeah i show the road to these rappers no wonder i always made whether these niggas i spot them i'm bringing up bars mm. like just say that shit with your chest he showed the rope to these rappers, right? That's what he said. He showed the rope, like, maybe giving them something to hang themselves with. But also, uh, he referenced Mayweather, right? Mayweather, the boxer, getting them on the ropes and just whooping them. I but, showed the road to these rappers, no wonder I always made whether these niggas I spot them on yeah. bringing up bars. Like, just say that shit with your chest when I'm pressing you, nigga. You extra, I'm extra terrestrial, nigga. What did he say? He said, I spot them, right? I spot him, and then he said something about give it with your chest. He's talking about bench pressing, right? You get a spot, like, hey, Joe, hey, can you spot me right quick? Is when you're lifting and you want to make sure that you're not, you're, it's the appropriate amount of weight, right? Uh, so there's some, uh, there's definitely some wordplay there on bench pressing, but I didn't catch it all. Niggas, I spot him, I'm bringing up bars, like just say that Yeah, bringing up bars, right? When you're pushing the, the bench press bar. Need rap, just put that together, my nigga. Yeah, I let them fill these shells from these four arms if you get in defense. Yeah, I show the road to these rappers, no wonder I always made whether these niggas. I spot him, I'm bringing up bars, like just say that shit with your chest when I'm pressing you, nigga. You yeah, extra, extra. I'm pressing you uh, as if you're checking someone or confronting them. But pressing like I'm bench pressing. Always made whether these niggas I spot them I'm bringing up bars like just say that shit with your chest when I'm pressing you nigga you extra I'm extra terrestrial nigga I'm vegan I'm eating <laughs> vegetable niggas like he said yeah uh, what did he say uh, you're extra as in like you're, you're doing the most I'm extra terrestrial right it might sound the same you might see similarities uh, but you're we're not on the same level, right? I'm from another planet. I'm out of this world. You just extra, bro. That shit with your chest when I'm pressing you, nigga. You extra, I'm extra terrestrial, nigga. I'm vegan. I'm eager to vegetable, niggas. Like, they don't want to let us turn up. They going to get the beats. Claim they want all the smoke. This Ooh, the niggas, you hear the wordplay there, right? He said, I'm vegan. Uh, what did he say? I'm eating these vegetables, right? Um, but, you know, vegan obviously don't like meat. But he said, uh, what did he say there? Like oh, but turning people to vegetables, like putting them in a coma or making sure they're like paralyzed, right? That would be like a vegetable. That shit with your chest when I'm pressing you, nigga. You extra, I'm extra terrestrial, nigga. I'm vegan, I'm eager to vegetable, niggas. Like they don't want to let us turn up. They gonna get the beats. Claim they want all the smoke. These sweet potato niggas want to squash and never master nothing but the artichoke. <laughs> the wordplay, right? I'm being vegan. Right, he said. Uh, he, right, he said I'm vegan, vegan, and then he's like turning these into vegetables, right? Um, and then he, the wordplay there, because he said uh, uh, something about we're gonna get turn up, turn ups, right? And then he said they're gonna get the beats, uh, obviously beats, right? But uh, beats, he could be playing off turning up the volume of your headphones on your beats, beats being the headphones, said they want all the smoke, right? They want that drama. Um, but you could also be using the smoke because you're steaming vegetables because he's vegan, right? He's steaming the beets and the turnips. 
Get it? Come on now. Sweet potato niggas wanna squash you niggas like they don't wanna let us turn up. They gon' get the beats. Claim they want all the smoke. These sweet potato niggas wanna squash and never master nothing but Ooh. the artichoke. Oh, so he, 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 he brought in more there, right? The wordplay is on vegetables, turnips, beets, right? Smoke from steaming vegetables. Um, right? He, the, 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 the play on the, the beets and turn up versus like turn up wilding out, right? Uh, they got the beats as in like the beat down. Right there, so so there's definitely some wordplay there, but he keeps it going. He said, "You sweet potato niggas want to squash it." Right, he's talking about sweet potatoes and squash, um, but motherfuckers are sweet. A sweet potato, let's say, if you were putting it in a pie, you're making a delicious treat, right? You're gonna you're gonna squash it, um, like squashing beef, right? And then he said something like, "You never, uh, all you mastered was the art of choke." Uh, right, uh, you could say, um, you know, oh, eight mile face, oh, clearance, right? You choke when you can't perform, or you choke like your mom on the D. All the smoke, these sweet potato niggas want to squash it, never master nothing but the artichoke. Ain't a remedy for this. Drop top ain't a. You know, what he, uh, the wordplay was on turnips, right? Then beets, then sweet potatoes. Uh, squash, and then the artichoke. I don't know. I don't want to be, you know, this wouldn't be an intellectual breakdown if I didn't always share knowledge. But, yo, low-key, um, most people are surprised. So if he, he's listing all these vegetables, um, squash are actually fruit, not vegetables. They're one of those weird ones, right? Because squash, they, it actually grows on vines, uh, and they have seeds inside. So they're technically a fruit. I'm just saying, right? Don't, don't, don't kill the messenger, bro. Just wanna squash and never master nothing but the artichoke. Ain't a remedy for this. Drop top ain't a rental key with this. Ooh, I own it. Like I'm that hungry. I just came to spend the cheese and dip. The wordplay: spend the cheese and dip. Spend the money, right? But the cheese and dip, a delicious or delightful snack, right? But spending the cheese is in the money and dip to my next adventure. No key with this shit. I ain't even rapping like I'm that hungry. I just came to spin this cheese and dip. Look, look, look. Niggas act so hoe. They broke, broke code. And no, I can't poke holes in no broke code. Nah. Oh, oh, oh. They act hoe, right? They act hoe, like, not like the tool, but they act like bitches and hoes, right? Uh, but he said they, they broke bro code, but they're probably broke. Uh, like not having any money, like having cheese from the previous line, right? But they broke bro code for, you know, whatever reason that might be. Um, so it's playing on broke, but he can't poke holes, uh, right? Like you poke hoes, or like you, you'd smash a bitch, but you can't do it because they're, they're not really real women, right? <sighs> Bro. But niggas act so hold it broke bro code and no I can't poke holes in no bro code my dick worth one oh 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 and that's essential cause I'm oh 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 right that would be a hundred thousand oh 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 is a hundred million so I think that's a hundred billion right three six nine twelve Three, six, nine, other twelve spaces. No bro code. My dick worth one oh 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 and that's essential because it's yeah. essential. It's ever been a nigga. Ooh. Ooh. Rapper got less potential. He said it's essential because he's existential, right? We hear a lot about existentialism. Um, if you listen to like Childish Gambino, uh, you know he's really big on it. There's a lot of books on it. If you really get down to the nitty gritty of it. Um, if something is existential or you hear that, it just has to do with human existence, right? If you're asking big questions about like the meaning of life and, um, you know, fate versus, uh, you know, you could be having what they call an existential crisis. Um, so that, that's just like the, the really simplified version of it. Um, but you, you hear it a lot, a lot more in hip hop, especially from the more uh, conscious rappers, if you would. Oh, oh and that's essential because I'm existential. It's ever been a nigga presidential girl, and mm. other rapper got less potential because he can never put a legend in you. Look, no, from the trench, I'll put a legend in you, aka this dick, or aka put a baby in you. But nigga stab you in your back, then twist a knife and say it's love. Niggas, so knock your stab in the back is a metaphor, kind of right, because you're. Uh, you could be physically stabbed in the back, but it's normally when you trust someone so much that you are giving them, not necessarily giving them space, but you don't expect them to stab you in your back. So you're in like a vulnerable position um, and they caught you slipping. Mud, when niggas stab you in your back, then twist a the knife and say it's love. Niggas face off, knock your face off with a straight face, then face the judge. You Ooh, that he's riding this beat too. And uh, he said uh, face off. 
Uh, shout out Face Off. That's uh, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage in that movie where they swap faces. The FBI agent and the criminal. Let's run it back. Make sure I didn't miss it. Say it's love. Niggas face off. Knock your face off with a straight face. Then face the judge. You front that nigga. Bricks. He set you up. Kill you. Then take the plug. Ooh. To be your own dudes, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You'd be better off by yourself, bro. Face the judge. You front that nigga. Bricks. He set you up. Kill you. Then take the plug. Yeah. Protect your top. In these streets. Keep it paper over pussy. Keep it mop over freaks. If you plot. Ooh. Money over bitches. Right? Get money. You could lose you'll you'll lose a lot of uh you'll lose a lot of money chasing women, but you'll never lose women chasing money, right? Come on now. Front that nigga Brixie set you up, kill you, then take the plug. Yeah. Protect your top in these streets. Keep it paper over pussy, keep it mop over freaks. If you plot, we gon' eat. We get locked, we don't speak. If it's up, I'm gonna call my shooters. Not the police. <laughs> Learn the lie from these Ooh, I was What he said is this some beef. We ain't gonna call the police, right? Nah, this ain't that type of court, bro. I'm gonna call my shooters. Not the police. Learn the lie from these streets. I was hustling, bag and smoke. Cut the cap. Corey taught me how to cut and cap the dope. Who's Man, Corey? The projects believed in me. Marty was like big meats. These are like his people. Ooh, he said like big meats to me. You, 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 you've been hearing that a lot more. And uh, Big Meech, Larry Hoover, right? And people are like, who's Big Meech? Big Meech, uh, his real name was Demetrius. Um, this cat was like in, he, the, the, this, uh, it was really the black, uh, black mafia family that uh, had connections with drug cartels in Mexico. And they started getting, uh, really handling cocaine distribution throughout the U.S., right? They had somebody in on the West Coast. And then I believe Big Meech was in Atlanta, and uh, these cats supposedly made like 200-something million dollars. Uh, and they tried to legitimize, legitimize themselves. And they created a record label called BMF Entertainment or BM, BMF Group or somewhere along those lines to try to legitimize the cash that they were coming in. You can't just have $200 million sitting in a bank account. Um, but these cats are uh, locked up. I know uh, Big Meech, I think, got sentenced to like 30 years or something like that. Man, the projects believed in me. Marty was like Big Meech to me. Wimp had the beam of Benz and Jeep, and that was G to me, Sonny. Ooh, and money. that G-Wagon, huh? To me. You gotta see sticks, you trying to beef with me. Mm. Train knock your forehead to your knee for me. Or sticks and knock your whole head to your feet for me. That's priceless, and they both... He's saying he's got people. He's got people that know people. Uh, the, they, they get stuff handled, if you know what I mean. If you got beef with him, uh, you gonna have some problems. Go ahead to your knee for me, or sticks and knock your whole head to your feet for me. That's priceless, and they both are doing free for me. If you don't whip the pot to score, you probably trying to score some pop. Had <laughs> couldn't call Samson, you call it short and crop. <laughs> Samson, right? That's uh, that's from Half Bait. Oh, uh, what was it? Samson Simpson, or Simpson, I think it was Samson Simpson. Um, he's the dude that sold pot and half baked with Dave Chappelle back in the day. Samson. <laughs> trying to score some pot, half baked and couldn't call Samson. You call it short. And yeah, half baked. Pound niggas just as sure as Gerald could score the rock. You shit on everything outside when you import the pot. My Ooh, cut, think cut. of um, uh, you know what you import is typically better than what's cut in in the street, right? <laughs> think uh, Denzel Washington and. American gangster, right? He finds a way to go to Vietnam because he can get uh, more pure product and bring it to the streets. Overwhelm the game. Right. You shit on everything outside when you import the pot. My big cousin bought cars like niggas buy high tops. So <laughs> that nigga called this made back a my bop. I ain't gotta put no emphasis on nice how word. he did it big. Feds finally caught his ass. Nickname the Mr. Big Nightmares make my bed shake. I still ain't get my head straight. Made it out the hood and lost my first deal to a fed case. Mm. Yeah, you never been through them times. I got such a criminal mind and he's subliminal. Live big, go big or go home. You could be 18, mm. nigga Lil Wayne. Okay. You hear what he said? He referenced Wayne Carter, Lil Wayne, and he said, uh, "You could be 18, a nigga half your age, and still give you the nine, right? The nine, the pistol, 
but nine is obviously half of 18. Be 18, a nigga half your age and still give you the nine. Okay, my black is hot, my top is dry. Sure they want to lick the lick, my lollipop, you know I told a hot. Ooh, he's referencing Lil Wayne songs, right? Tying it back into Lil Wayne. He said, uh, l -l 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 lick it like a lollipop, no homo. Nine, okay, my black is hot, my top is dry. Sure they want to lick the lick, my black lollipop. Black is hot, you know the black is hot, right? That's also a uh, Lil Wayne song. Love but how to cop it with this rhyme. You could be 18, a nigga half your age and still give, give you the nine. nine. Okay, my black is hot, my top is dry. Sure, they want to lick the lick, my lollipop. You know, I told <laughs> how to love but how to cop. I'm trying to get a bird. Yeah, yeah. Gotta pop. How to love is a Lil Wayne song. And uh, what he's saying about the cop, that could be, uh, it could be how to cop, like how to shop. Uh, but uh, it's probably Mrs. Officer, right? Mrs. Officer, did it, did it, did all little Wayne hits. Sure they want to lick the lick, my lollipop. You know I told her how to love, but how to cop. I'm trying to get a bird, man, and got a pop. Look, this the dedication, better squad up. Show against the grill and you get drunk. I'm trying to get a bird, man, and got a pop. Look, this the dedication. And got a pop? Birdman, like pop, like Lil Wayne considers Birdman his dad, right? Birdman or Baby is a co-founder and really the more public face of uh, Cash Money Records, right? Um, but, you know, in some places, I don't know if it's in all the country, but a bird, um, the word references a kilo, right? Uh, it's like a kilo of um, coke. My lollipop, you know I told her how to love, but how to cop. I'm trying to get a bird, man, and got a pop. Look, this the dedication, better squad up, show a gangsta grill, and you get drama. My juvenile. Ooh, uh, and... gangsta grills. That's DJ drama, right? Lil Wayne did a remix on that too. The pop. Look, this the dedication, better squad up, show a gangsta grill, and you get drama. My juveniles is BGs. I got hot boys and big Thomas. I'm getting. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, back to Cash Money Records, right? Uh, and tied it all with Birdman. Who do you say, juvenile? That. And then that is the bee, ha. She got a big old back. When I, when I, when they run it back, ha. <laughs> right? Or that, uh, uh, what else did he say? Um, um, uh, taking over for the 99 in the 2000. I don't want to want to be there. I'll be there. When I want to want to be there. Right? Uh, I forget what the hell's the name of that song. But he also referenced, um, Hot Boys, right? Hot Boys. You see my earrings from my mouth. Bling, bling. Right? That was BG Lil Wayne Juvenile. And someone you don't really hear of uh, often, Turk, was a member of that group. Um, and then uh, he said big timers. Uh, what was that? Uh, um, Gator thick, because all my money spent. But I'm still fly, la, da, da, da. Right? Uh, got a quarter tank of gas in my new E-class. It, it's just a play on them spending their money. Um, that's when Manny Fresh entered the picture as their, I think it was a producer. Um, but he still made some beats later on with like Fireman, right? With Lil Wayne and all that. But uh, shout out Cash Money. Get drama. My juveniles is BGs. I got hot boys and big timers. I'm getting out of pocket. Which one of y'all can stop it? I can get a summer lit enough to launch a rocket. Put my niggas on that bitch. Ooh. I can turn it into profit. I'm a bitch. I ain't never heard a rap like this. Get your bitch dicker and quit in 10 seconds. Got a pussy nigga. Been dead at a trendsetter. I'm a PJ. You niggas is 10 jettas. Envious. Vindictive. Been jealous. Man, because I go, go gadget. Flow magic. I find a go, go gadget. Go, go gadget arm, right? And he has, uh, uh, it was a cartoon back in the 90s. He had a little helicopter hat, long trench coat, and he go, go gadget legs, and then he starts stretching and whatnot. Yeah, envious, vindictive, been jealous. Man, cause I go, go gadget, flow magic, and find the floor to wrap your boys' cap just like his cat with the helicopter propeller. Yeah. <laughs> That's go, go gadget. Cat with the helicopter. When you want King Los on the beat, he gonna send that bitch back in blood. Ooh. Somehow had to love when you Ooh, yo, he killed that, man. Uh, man, thanks for uh, recommending that. Someone just told me, yo, you got to check out uh, the Back in Blood freestyle. I never knew this cat had this many freestyles. Um, no, that's, man, if you're fans of uh, King Los, show some love, like the video, but subscribe to the channel. We're going to continue going into his catalog, not just the freestyles, but the actual uh, tracks, and really see if we could pull out some of his lyrics explore his lyrics, understand the context, and really dive into King Lowe. So uh, show some love, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video.